Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. Why are you going to the Attorney General's office? Because I need help with my kids. My son's father works for the post office, making $28 an hour. I need some help. I have to walk to work. I can't even afford bus fare. Hi there. Excuse me, ma'am. Where's your kid's father? I don't know where he lives, but I do know he hasn't helped me financially. I mean, not that I need it, but he hasn't seen his son in six months. What would you like to say to your kid's father? Well, you're out there living with your girlfriend. Our son needs your health insurance and benefits. I need some help. Please. My name is David Lee. I'm a patent attorney for Wallace and Wallace Law Firm. Although the hours are long, it's a very rewarding career. 
I'm also a single father of a little girl named Mary. My daughter is my heart and soul, and I would lay down my life for her. No questions asked. Even though it's hard getting out of bed, how do you make it through the day not knowing when you will see your child? I am truly lost without her. Get up and get dressed, baby. Breakfast is ready. My name is Monica Sosa. I'm a nurse assistant in the medical center. And unfortunately, I work the night shift. What makes my job so hard is the walk. And I walk at least 30 miles a week. But walking through Herman Park gives me a peace of mind of how things used to be. Ricky and I used to bring Travis here. I would watch him play baseball. And I would just read my books. Oh my God. I really do miss my family. Ricky started changing right before my eyes. He started buying new clothes and coming home late and later until he just moved out. Susan Martinez, she's my coworker said I should go to the child support office and they would make him pay. Well, today's the day I will finally do it. Ricky is out of control and I have to face a harsh reality. My husband is with another woman and he's not coming home. Forecast, plenty of sunshine through today with seasonal temperatures. We should reach our normal high of about 82 degrees by this afternoon. Clear skies tonight with a low near 70. Increasing cloudiness tomorrow, sticky and humid with a high of 96. With the winds out of the east at 14 miles per hour, it's currently 75 degrees. A nine-year-old metro girl has a new lease on life thanks to surgery at the hospital for sick children. Tracy Hooper was given the liver of a nine-year-old accident victim in a four-hour operation. Hooper is in critical but stable condition, normal after such an operation. Her condition was monitored for seven Jason. hours to see if there's any signs of organ injection. Jason, get up. Rick Manson's World Motion Tour is over, and what a success it was. Manson skateboarded across Canada in 11 months, raising over $14 million to fight heart disease. He covered over 5,000 miles, averaging about 100...
Jason. Jason, wake up. It's time to go to school. Boy, I know you hear me. Get up. <sighs> Jason, get your ass up now. I'm up. Mom, I'm up. Get dressed and come get some breakfast. I don't want no more oatmeal. It makes my stomach hurt. Boy, I ain't got time to argue with you right now. Just like your father. Get dressed. All you do is eat and sleep. I gotta fight with you to get out of bed. I have to call into work today, and now my paycheck is gonna be short. We about to get kicked out, and I get no help from your dad. Wow, what a spectacular view. You know, I've lived in these apartments for the last three years. This city is my home. This day started like any other day. Cold breakfast, hot shower, then I head to work. My life was pretty simple back then. However, that all changed when I separated from my daughter's mother. I thought breaking up was easy. I thought moving on was a piece of cake. Boy, was I wrong. David, it's John. I just wanted to congratulate you on an excellent job on our client case. Because of your hard work, we reached settlement of $12 million. And David, it's attorneys like you that we need in our executive administration. And we'd like to promote you to vice president of Wallace Firm. Let's talk about it over lunch today. John Wallace, that's my boss and the CEO of Wallace and Wallace Law Firm. He's a good man and a fair boss. Now, where was I? Oh yeah. Stephanie, my daughter's mother. We separated about six months ago, and it's a very complicated breakup. If you have children with your ex-spouses, please understand, this will be one of the most trying times in your life and for your children. Thanks for the food, Mom. It's really good. Sure, honey. I know it's your favorite. I wanted to do something special for you today. Thanks. So, you ready for your game today? Yeah, I am. I am so excited about this team. Mm, you should be. It's been 25 years since our team went to the district championship. What's wrong, honey? Nothing. Are you sure? I really need Dad to be at my game. Can you please make sure he's there? Please? Yeah, sure, Kelly. I'll reach out to your dad and see if he can come. But, you know, he works late sometimes. Okay. If you're finished with your breakfast, let's get to school. Okay, let me go grab my backpack. Okay.
Hey, Mom. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm okay. Just taking a break. I'm heading to the child support office. I just can't keep doing this anymore, Mom. Ricky's gonna have to pay. And he's gonna have a huge surprise when his wages are garnished for child support. Monica, you don't need his money. Why don't you just move back to Austin? Mom, come on, you know that Travis is in school here. And he's settled in Houston. Plus, it's time I take charge of my life. And that's starting today. You know, I may not have a car right now, but in a few weeks, I'm gonna have money for bus fare, and that's just gonna be such a huge help. I just don't like to see you struggle. Travis is my only grandson, and he would be better off living here with his grandparents until you establish yourself. Mom, it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna be okay, Travis is gonna be okay. Ricky just met this woman and completely changed. But it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay. Listen, they are so slow at the child support office and I wanna be first in line, so can I call you later? Okay. Be careful. I will, Mom. I love you. I love you too. Aren't you picking up my phone calls? We both made mistakes in this relationship. I just think it's unfair. Can you at least let me hear her voice? Please? Call me. is not enough. He needs to pay child support too. And he's the one who cheated on me. Hold on. Kelly, let's go. You don't want to be late for school. Okay, mom. Okay, mom. I'll call you later and let you know how it goes. Um, Mom? Coach Thomas said I need $180 for new football equipment. Jason, I don't have it. I don't even have money for groceries. 
Coach Thomas is just going to have to understand. Well, Mom, if I don't have it, I'll get kicked off the team. Man, we don't never have any money. Boy, what did I say? I don't have it. I got too much going on right now. I don't have it. Yes, ma'am. Guess I'll just get kicked off the team. Boy, what'd you say? Man, finish your breakfast. We gotta go. Jason, what are you doing? Mom! Stop messing around. Let's go. Taylor. Come on in, man. The door is open. What's going on, my brother? Have a seat, man. Can I get you anything? Mm -hmm. Water, orange juice? Orange juice would be good. All right. Coming up, my brother. Right. Hey, thanks. Absolutely, man. All right, Taylor, you said you wanted to talk to me. What's on your mind? Dave, I'm worried about you. How you doing? Ah, uh, how am I doing? I'm not doing very well, man. I'm still dealing with this breakup. It's been six months since you guys went your separate ways. That woman definitely has it out for you. Why can't she just move on? You know what? It's because she keeps talking about counseling and therapy, like we getting married or something. You know what I don't like, Taylor? It's when parents break up, they put their kids in the middle of all of their foolishness. Mary has two parents, but since we went our separate ways, I don't get to see her. Dave, that's crazy. From my perspective, I can tell that this woman knows this is hurting you. If you were one of those deadbeat dads, she'd be throwing Mary all in your face. Yeah, but I'm not a deadbeat dad. You know that, and I know that. And you know what? She knows that. No one loves Mary more than I do. I'm my daughter's biggest fan. I, I hear you. I hear you, man. It's just wrong. I, mean, I don't know how you can go six months without seeing your kid. If it were me, that would tear me apart inside. And what about Mary? How's she dealing with this? I can't believe there are women out there that would use their kids as leverage against you, a good father. But you know what, man? I'm gonna be honest with you. I really believe she loves our daughter. She's a good mother. But I am starting to second guess her level of integrity. Taylor, why am I not seeing Mary? Why is she avoiding my phone calls, man? I don't get to see it. Her grandparents haven't seen her. Hell, man, nobody from my side of the family gets to see Mary. Well, you know what they say. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. There is no one angrier than a woman that's been rejected in love. Damn, man, I wasn't trying to go through this, man. Ah, uh, child support office has been staring me in my face. However, I cannot avoid the inevitable. Dude, I'm going to have to let you go, man. Work is piling up, my brother. So see yourself out, man. Got to call into work. I'm not going in today. Well, we still on for tonight? If Houston doesn't win this game, they're not going to make the playoffs. <laughs> Man, the last thing on my mind right now is hanging at Sammy Sports Grill and nursing a couple of beers with you. Man, why don't you just give me a call tonight and let's just see what my head is, dude. You know I always got your back. Hey, man, I appreciate you, man. All right. I'll talk to you, man. Okay. All right.
Ugh, it's disgusting. It's really that bad? I don't even know why I drank this mess. Ugh. Blech. Mmm. This coffee is terrible. Yeah, Rhonda made it. Rhonda. Yeah, tell me about it. I freaking hate this place. Well, I love it, you know why? Why? Because I always put some magic in my coffee. What? That's, that's not a good idea. What? What? It works. Yeah. Jesus oh, yeah. Christ. Who supplies it? Hey, y'all know I'm the security, right? That's, that's, that's not good. You don't good. even have a gun. You're not, you're not. But I have a whistle. I know how to blow. Lunch break, you know. You know we get our party on. She loves to party. You haven't seen y'all party together? What kind of place am I working at? Jesus Christ. Don't ask me. I mean, I love it. See why I'm so friendly by the end of the day? I just thought that you was a perky person. Well, guys, it's about that time. <sighs> Please don't tell me I have to open up these awesome. doors, man. Gotta help some ladies today. And guess what? You get the honors. Me. Go open the door. <sighs> Do we have to? Yes. Yeah. Gotta go help some ladies today. I mean... <sighs> And help some fellas out of their money. Go open the door. Mm hmm Ah, uh, you're a very nice person, are you? I know. Really do not respect this badge. Do not respect the badge. I can't believe this. Dios mío, dame fuerzas. Amen and amen. Ugh. You say that. Wallace Attorney at Law, this is Janet. How may I assist you? Hey, what's going on, Janet? Nothing much. What's up? Janet, could you look at my schedule for me, please? We have a 9 a.m. meeting with Ross Brokers and lunch with John at noon. Janet, I need a huge favor from you. I need you to go ahead and reschedule all of my appointments. Okay. John as well? Yes, unfortunately, John too. Okay, will do. Oh yeah, before I forget, congratulations on the case. Hey, thanks a lot, Janet. You're the best. baby girl. Daddy's coming. Morning. Good morning. Hello, ladies.
ladies and the ho oh, gentlemen. It's about time. <laughs> yeah, good luck. We're very understaffed today, and uh, it's going to be a very busy day today. So if you could please walk on in, and Miss Gomez will take right good care of you. Everyone, sign in. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If you're new, make sure Don't I know you know your father's full no. name and date of birth. Yeah, I know you. Janice, right? Sign in, everybody. You're holding up the door. Right, everybody has to sign in, okay? Thank God. Keep up the pace, okay? And if you're new, grab a clipboard, take a seat, fill it up. Sign in, everybody. Everybody must sign in. Okay, if you're new, grab a clipboard. Fill it up. Take a seat. Sign in. Write your name there. Come on, Janice. You remember me. Back home. From where? Sign in, everybody. Everybody Texas. must Get sign up. in. Janice! Put down your signature there. Everybody sign. Por favor, no se olviden de firmar. We graduated aquí. together, girl. Oh, what year? Oh, wait. Wrong person. What? I know your face, girl. Wrong face. Y tomen asiento. Por favor, esperen a que les llamen. Y los nuevos que rellenen el formulario. Excuse me, sir. How you doing? I'm looking for the Attorney General's office. What? Let me see that. <laughs> Talk about the child support office, man. Well, you here? Okay. What you doing here, man? Excuse me? What you doing here? That's a little personal, isn't it? No. Never mind, sir. Sir, I'm here to take care of some personal affairs. Could you please show me where it's at? Hey, man, you sure you want to go up in there? I mean, it is rough in there. Hey, hey, don't let them take all of your money up in there now. <laughs> Man, go by that smile and come out mad. Urgh. Sir, just show me where it's at, please. This way. Every six months, he switches jobs. I don't know where he works. This don't make no damn sense. Can't you find his job? Yes, ma'am, we can. Um... Just fill out this form, please, and when they call your name, they will help you in the back. Don't worry, Miss Williams, we will find him. What you looking at? You better watch where you're going. Oh, no. Otro maldito abogado. Ay, no lo mires tanto. Se va. Se ha marchado. Se fue, ¿no? Excuse me. Hi. Yes, may I help you? Is this the child support office? Yes, it is. How may I help you? Okay. My name is David Lee, and I'm here to file child support on myself. <laughs> it's like, what? It's like, who? Yeah. What's the logo? What's the logo? Austin! Austin, did you hear this? Okay, chica, asegúrate de que es eso lo que escuchaste porque es que no me lo creo. What? Who the hell is that? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> okay, okay. Yo te lo digo, señor Big Shot, con tu traje a medida. <laughs> Espero que estas mujeres te coman tu culo con vida. <laughs> Necesito llamar a Jessica. He ganado la apuesta. De un almuerzo. Oh, oh. <clears throat> en inglés ahora, por favor. Que English now. Okay. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> I am very sorry, sir. <clears throat> But did you just say you're here to file child support on yourself? Yes, I did. Oh, man. What this brother doing? Okay. Um... Please fill out these forms for me, and um, do you have your driver's license, social security, and pay stubs? Yes, I do. Okay, um, then please go ahead and have a seat. Then they will call you in the back. Thank you. Ms. Gomez, you okay? My baby needs a daddy. Okay, now 
that was weird. Fellas, don't think because you file child support on yourself that you deserve a pat on the back. Newsflash, there's no homecoming for being responsible for your children. Oh my God, girl, you're not gonna believe this. We finally got our unicorn. I know. Oh. Girl, you better come up here. Yeah, I think it's gonna be trouble. All right. Oh, be fast. Okay. Bye. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you doing, ma'am? I'm doing well, sir. What are you coloring? A dog. A dog. May I see it? Wow, nice. My name is David. What's your name? Mary. Mary? That's my daughter's name. Really? <gasps> yeah. Ma'am, you have a beautiful daughter. Ah, thank you. Absolutely. Ever had a person that didn't like you for whatever reason? They just picked on you for every little thing. Well, this, my friend, is a hot mess. Excuse me. Yes? How you doing? I'm good. I don't mean to be rude and all up in your damn business, but uh, did I hear you say you came here to file child support on yourself? Yes, I did. And I do think you're being rude. But if you must ask, I'm no longer with my daughter's mother. And I'm just here to take care of my financial responsibility. Do you mind? What the hell? Here, this man coming to file child support on himself, but me, I can't find my kid's sorry ass father. What? what? What's going on over there? Everything good? I'm, I'm fine. Thank you. I, I, I got my eye on you. Michael Johnson? It's about damn time. Come on back. Does it always take this long? God, this has been horrible. I just can't believe this. Come on in and have a seat. Oh, great. Surprise. What is this, some kind of ambush? What the hell is Michelle doing here? Michael, I'm not here to argue with you. Hey, you want my wallet? Mr. Johnson, she legally does have a right to be here. Fine. Fine, here. Here are my pay stubs. Here's my ID. You can have a quart of blood, too, if you need it. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. God, this is ridiculous. God. What are you doing here, anyway? Really? I'm going to stay one step ahead of you, buddy. <sighs> they are trying to screw you, man. a lot of clicking as long as it's not over 500 bucks i should be okay so miss bradley how much how much is it what, what's the amount gonna be i mean don't put me in the poorhouse please let me explain all right here it comes so because you owe back child support we divide into five years at 280 dollars a month so that's in addition to your monthly payment of one thousand dollars per month what so your garnished wages is $1,280 a month oh my based God. on your current salary. No, this is unacceptable. I, I, I can't pay that. I, I can't pay that. I'm sorry, sir. No, that this is, is the unacceptable. amount based on your current this salary. This is unacceptable. I can't pay this. This is ridiculous. $1,280 a month? Are you out of your mind? Are you, are you out of your... Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. Really? 
You took it all! I don't have anything left! How am I supposed to live? I'm broke now! Oh my god, really? Oh, Michael. Fine. Just pay it. Don't even bother! So, your baby mama didn't make you come up here? Unbelievable. Are you a doctor? Lawyer? Are you gay? Because I ain't ever heard of this type of stuff before. Uh, you know what? You really need to back up. Because you all up in my personal space. Can a brother breathe? Just to answer your question. And to let you know there's a first time for everything. I'm just here to do the right thing. Damn, I was just asking a question. Man, you know what? I'm about to sit here and let you make my blood pressure come up. Man, what a gay ass. This is a What the hell is going on up here? Damn it, Michelle. She's your daughter, too. All my damn money! 1200 bucks a month! Whoa, 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 whoa! What? Hold on! What do you want? How much did you say? 1200 bucks! They're gonna take all my damn money! Yeah, I'll be mad too, but you gotta take that outside, brother. Well, take, take it out, take it out. You're next, bro. <laughs> Don't let him screw you out of all your money! I'm gonna be eating freaking jelly sandwiches for the rest of my life! Yeah! I'll be back. David Lee? Thank God. What a hot mess. I gotta get the hell out of here. Please have a seat. Thank you. You know, I have been here for eight years. And you are the first man who has volunteered with no court order. <laughs> Most men have to be pushed and dragged to come here. You know, you are rare, and I heard you stirred up my lobby quite a bit. In all honesty, your lobby is a zoo. Thank you for saving me. Now look, if I may say this, this place is like a torture chamber for the average man. You can take away his food, he could lose his girlfriend, wreck his new sports car. However, my mother always says, a man's finances is his most prized possession. So many cases just go to court because fathers don't feel they need to be financially responsible for their children, regardless of the relationship status with the mother. So it is a really good thing to know that there's still good fathers out there. Ma'am, please allow me to say, I believe money is important to everyone, not just mothers, but fathers as well. I mean, we have bills, we have to live too. But jail, that's not an option for me. Okay, my parents taught me to be responsible for my daughter. That's why I'm here. You know, I completely understand. Let's just start all over. My name is Jessica Bradley. I'm the senior child support officer. How may I help you? <sighs> Miss Bradley, let me be honest with you. I have not seen or heard from my daughter in months. Her mother will not pick up my phone calls. I'm desperate and I'm out of options. That's why I'm here in your office. I'm going to do... xưa rồi cũng đi qua dấu chân kỷ niệm nhạt nhòa nắng mưa đường qua lối cũ trường xưa ai quên nay nhớ tiễn đưa một ngày bây giờ lối ấy còn ai và ngón áo trắng còn bay công trường Bồi hồi nhớ nhớ thương thương Biết bao kỷ niệm còn vương 
một thời bạn đến vẫn chẳng cả đời những câu thơ của cắt rơi từ khi ngày xưa rồi cũng đi qua How's my little man? He's doing his homework. Well, did you go? Yes, ma'am, I did. I can't stand the child support office. They are so damn slow. Well, I'm just glad you went. Now you can finally catch up on your bills. Yeah, but I'm not counting on James to come through. Okay. Well, you did the right thing by filing child support on his ass. Mom. You won't believe what happened in there today. There's a man that walked into the child support office, and guess why? Court's order? No, he came in there to file child support on himself. What? I can't believe that. I was so mean to him. All I could think about was Jason and James. I cursed him out bad. Tamika, don't hate every man because of James. This man should be praised for understanding that mothers need their help to raise their children. I guess you're right. Let me go start dinner. Jason is being way too quiet in his room right now and he's getting so big. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, yeah. Walk along, lady. Yeah. Listen to your headphones, lady. Yeah. Happy day, isn't it? Happy day. $900? That's unbelievable. Let's go! Come on, let's go! It's a green light, lady! Come on! Come on. Where is she? Come on. Come on, man! Come on! You're not supposed to yield right now! Hurry up! I can't believe this. My feet doesn't even work. But yet she wants $900 from me? Just like her. Come on. Come on. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Pick up your phone! Yeah, come on. She has to be here somewhere. She has to be here somewhere. Yeah, uh, enjoy, enjoy the art show, lady. Yeah, probably on your husband's dime. That's why she's jealous. She's jealous because Veronica is independent. And she's not. She never has been. How am I so I have to pay to see my son? I have to pay to see my son. Oh, I wish it were that easy. I wish I could just sign on the dotted line and see my son. I'm bored. It's too easy. Where is she? Where is she? Where are you? Oh, oh, there she is. Monica! 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 I know you hear me, Monica! 
Monica, I know you hear me, Monica. Answer your phone, Monica. 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 Monica, I know you hear me, Monica. God damn it, Monica. Monica, I know you hear me, Monica. Answer your phone, Monica. Monica, I see you, Monica. Monica. Hey, I know you hear me. What? What the hell is going on? What do you want? I go to my office, my boss hands me this letter. What did you do? Huh? I filed child support on you. Huh, of course you filed child support on me. You know what? That's exactly why I left you. Ricky, I'm not about to have this argument with you. I walk to work every day and you've never once offered to give me a ride. Not once. You getting to work is none of my concern. I don't care how you get there. Really? Uh Uh-huh. And is Travis none of your concern? Because when he gets sick, now I have to take him to the clinic because you took him off your insurance. It's wrong and you know it. You know, Brian, Brian was right what he said about you. Look at you. You're just a gold digger. Oh, yeah. Okay. A gold digger. Really. You know what? Veronica got your mind so twisted, you don't even know up from down anymore. Oh, my God. That woman has three children. Three. And they get the benefit of your entire salary? While Travis struggles, I won't have it. There we go, talking about Veronica again. Well, her three kids are none of your concern. But 20% of my damn paycheck, that's almost $900 a month. And don't forget back child support for nine months. You know, I think I just figured it out. You're jealous. That's where this whole thing stems from. Yep, I'm jealous. Mm -hmm. You know what? Miss Veronica can have you. Sooner or later, she's going to figure out who you really are. You have no idea what you're talking about. Whatever, Ricky, you heard me. I mean, I am tired of you and your lies. I'm moving on, and I'm going to be strong for Travis. So you can go ahead with Veronica and this new family of yours or whatever, but I'm going to raise Travis to be a strong man who's responsible for his kids, unlike his sorry-ass father. Hey, goddammit. Get off of me. Y'all see that? You know what? He's my son, too. And I'm not paying it. I'm not paying it. Anybody see that shit hit me? How's my little man? Nothing, just finishing up my math homework. Jason, I wanted to apologize about my attitude this morning. I just want you to have all the things that I didn't have as a kid. Mom, I know Dad's not helping with the money. That's why we eat so much oatmeal. But I still love you, and I still love Dad. Okay, Jason, finish up your homework and I'll call you when dinner's ready. Okay, Mom. I stink. I'm going to go upstairs and take a shower, then... Do my homework in my room. I thought I smelled a little something in the car. (laughs) Just a little bit worse than when your dad goes fishing. Wow, really, Mom? (laughs) I'm just kidding. You played really hard today. Why don't you go on up? I'll come up and check on you in a little bit. Okay. Oh, Michael. Look what you're doing to our daughter. 
You should be ashamed of yourself. <sighs> Let me call mom. Hey, what's going on, John? David, I didn't see you today. Is everything okay? I'm okay, sir. I just had some personal business I needed to attend to today. Well, it's not like you to disappear. Is your daughter okay? My daughter is fine. Tell you what, John, first thing in the morning, I will come to your office and we can talk about it. Sure thing, Dave. Okay. Have a good evening, sir. No, Mom, I'm outside. She's upstairs doing her homework. She can't hear me. You shouldn't treat her father like that. Mom, why are you taking up for him? I'm not taking up for him. Michelle, why are you trying to make him to be a bad father? He's not. I'm so sick of you and Michael. You need to go upstairs and tell my granddaughter the truth. Kelly thinks her father is coming home. Stop procrastinating. Stop blaming Michael. And go talk to your daughter. Now, I love you, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, Mom. I love you, too. Bye. Michael, of all people, why Karen? What do you mean, why Karen? Really? You left me! I can't do this anymore. Oh, great. All you do is nag, nag, nag anyway, every time you open your mouth. What the hell is wrong with you, woman? You need to move out of the house. I'm out of here. Michael, I'm done. I want a divorce. Good. That's fine with me. I don't need you. Huh. I've been waiting for that. That's just fine. You're going to regret this. I'll talk to my lawyer tomorrow. I'm glad you asked for it first. I'm going to get everything. You watch. I'm out of here. I don't need you. Oh my God, what a long day. I'm just glad to be home. You ever had a day where you were so excited about 
then, at the end of that day, everything that could go wrong did go wrong. What happened? Why do I feel so empty inside? Am I really all alone? I really need a drink. You know, I thought by filing child support on myself was the right thing to do. After all, I'm no longer with my daughter's mother. I would have never thought in a million years a father would be criticized and laughed at for being financially responsible for his child. What really is the message my parents taught me as a kid? Ladies and gentlemen, when your relationship with your spouse is over, in order to move on, one must not procrastinate the end. You cannot move on with your life until you've legalized your separation. My money, my money. She took it all. She took all of it. Damn it. Hey. I should have known. I should have known. This woman. All right. God, she's been, she's been planning this. How could I be so stupid? God, she took my money. I don't know. Something's going to happen. Something's gonna happen. She failed me every time. It comes around, it goes around. I'm gonna get mine too. I'm gonna get mine. I don't get it. You're not gonna get away with this. Never. I want it all. Yeah, I want it all. Welcome to Sammy's Sports Grill. What? Um, how many? How many? You can't see it's just me? Really? What do they pay you? Uh, it's sir, too much. Excuse me. Who hired that woman anyway? Can't believe she has a job. Ignorance, running rampant. Hi, sir. What can I get you? Case in point. Who are you? Don't you have a curfew? You don't have to talk to me like this. Whatever. Go go find your parents. They're looking for you. Go text on your cell phone. Go find a toilet to clean. What's your problem, man? You! Move along, little girl! Watching the game here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard ya. Yeah, my... What? Chill out. She is new. Okay, I'm working on it. I had a... You would not believe the day ahead today. Okay, so how's it going? How's it going? How's it going? It's going horrible. That's how it's going. The worst freaking day of my life. God, you have no idea. Mike, calm down, okay? <sighs> what happened? My wife, Michelle, that's what happened. This woman. She took it to a whole new level today. You know, when I told her I was sorry... I said those words. They came out of my mouth. I'm sorry. But did she remember that? No. Oh, no. We're separated. Okay? Before I even started seeing Karen. It was over. 
it was over. I wouldn't cheat on my wife. I, I wouldn't cheat on my wife. I wouldn't do that. <sighs> God. Kelly? Hey, Mom. Hey, baby. Ooh, you're smelling good now. Yeah, I really needed it. Um, do you have a minute? Yeah. Đêm buồn lặng lẽ một mình tôi Nhìn mưa rơi chợt thấy bồi hồi Thao thức đợi chờ Người xưa đến Có lẽ người ta Chẳng đến rồi Ngậm ngùi nhìn cánh Phượng vi rơi về ngân xa khúc thật buồn ngùi hà chưa kịp đi thu vội tới từ nay ta đã mất nhau rồi duyên nợ hai ta đã hết rồi mistakes that's what you tell me all the time is to forgive my friends at school I know I know Kelly and I know this is gonna be really hard for you but your father and I are getting a divorce no mom please whatever dad did I know he can fix it Don't give up. I know we can fix this together. It's gonna be okay, okay? We're all gonna be okay. Sorry. My daughter's room. I really try to avoid this part of the house as much as possible. However, I cannot resist the temptation of coming in here. Every time I step into Mary's room, time stands still for me. One time, I was in here for two days without eating. Why is Stephanie doing this to me? I even thought about getting back together. Then I realized Mary will grow up one day and life is hard enough. People, never be in a relationship for your kids. Love is truly an unconditional choice. The relationship will not work and you're just avoiding the inevitable. Hey, here it comes. Let's wait down. Let's wait down, Mary. Mary, 
Come here, baby. Oh, you're asleep, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, come on. I know you're tired. You're asleep. Come on. Daddy got you. Come here, baby. Daddy got you. Come here. Oh, my baby girl is getting big. Come here. Daddy got you. Daddy got you. See, I can do it with one hand. See, I got to do it with one hand. I'm so late. Is he gone? I think so. Crazy ass. You know what? He's my son too. I'm not paying it. I'm not paying it. Did anybody see that? She hit me. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Not so good right now. Rough day at the office? Dude, my life sucks right now, okay? It sucks. Any more questions? Jeez, no, it's all fine. You sure? What's his problem? What? You say something? No, nothing. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Sure? I'll be right with you. Thanks. Watching the game here. Yeah, I heard you the first time. Ah, uh, take it to the laundry, man. I'm gonna hit that guy. Hey, girl. Ah! Hey! <laughs> How are you? I'm good, good. How are you? You look so great. Come on, sit, sit. <sighs> What's wrong? Don't look over there, girl. He's crazy. <laughs> this fool done came up in here raising hell. Wow. His wife done left him. She took the house, the keys, and it out. Your friend's been waiting for you. What can I get you? Anything you want. Just water, please. Water? Okay. Me too. Sure. I'll be right back. Oh my God. Let's take a picture. <laughs> awesome. Oh, look, it looks so good. Look at us being happy. <laughs> I think I'm going to throw up. What's going on? Girl, nothing much. This place is a zoo. Oh, my God. Whoa, whoa. Don't look over there, girl. He crazy. I'm telling you. Mike. Mike. You're a good father. She can't take that away from you. I wouldn't doubt it. That needs to be your only focus now. And I'm sorry to say, but I believe your marriage is over. So you just need to snap out of it. I know you're right. And my focus does need to be my daughter. In fact, I blew it today. I was supposed to beat her game. I told her I would be there. I didn't show up. I'm just so distracted by all of this with the, with that woman. She's just, God. I owe my daughter an apology. I was supposed to be there and I didn't go. <sighs> Wait a minute. <sighs> I can't believe I missed this. What the? What? 
What's up? My wife, Michelle. What the hell was she doing at the child support office before it even opened? Well, it sounds like she had this planned a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah, it does. God, I can't believe I missed that. Yeah, she's going to backcharge me child support, too. You believe that? We agreed that I would leave the house. We agreed on that. $1,280 a month for five freaking years. No more boat, no more tickets. Oh, God. I'm going to blow a gasket. I'm just going to chill out and think about how my life is going to suck for the next five freaking years. That is a lot of money. What can I get you? How about a band-aid from my wallet? And a suppository. I'm going to need one of those. Seriously, what can I get you? Just, just give me my usual, the Parmesan garlic wings and... You know what? Give me a soda. Soda? No beer? Nah. No beer. Back. No more beer. My focus is going to be on Kelly. I'm going to stay sober for her. There's going to be some change coming, and it starts tonight. Calm, Mike. Calm, Mike. I like that. Sounds like a new beginning. What's up, Taylor? Dude, where are you? Everybody's here at the bar tonight watching the game. This place is going to be packed. Man, I'm not feeling it tonight. <laughs> After talking to you this morning, man, I had to take care of some personal business. What? Come on, man. We've been waiting for Houston to get on the map for like 10 years now. What happened? You turned off your phone and everything went straight to voicemail. Oh. <sighs> What's up with a thousand questions, man? I'm good. I'm just gonna stay home and chill for the night. So, I'm not coming to the bar, man. Dude, you're killing me. What happened? Did you go to the child support office today? <coughs> <coughs> yes, I did go to the child support office. You know what, man? I'm good. Dude, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Stacy's here, man. I gotta let you go. All right, well, I'll talk to you later, man. Good luck. I'll holler at you. Hey, baby. Hey, what's going on? I thought you were gonna watch the game with Taylor tonight. Yeah, I was, but I just decided to stay home and chill. Besides, it's a beautiful night. Yes, it is. What's going on with you? Oh my God, I'm so excited. So, we got the funding to build a new youth center. And guess who's in charge of the entire project? Baby, tell me it's you. Yes. <laughs> oh, congratulations. Thank you, baby. But that's enough about me. How was it today? Not very good. Ah. <sighs> Taylor was here earlier today and we were talking. 
in my opinion, the attorney general's office, it's a goddamn zoo. The more I think about it, baby, I don't think I should have gone there. I really think I made a mistake. What are you talking about? David, what you did today was noble and rare. This is why I was so attracted to you. Remember our first date? You know I won't let you forget it. Yes. And what you yes, talked about yes. the entire time? It was a little something like Mary, Mary, oh, and some more Mary. <laughs> Come on, baby. This is silly and it's chilly. <laughs> David. Don't beat yourself to death about this. Look, I'm not a mother yet, but I know that you're one of the bravest men I've ever known. What woman in her right mind would not want you to be the father of her child? Stephanie's hurting because of the breakup, but she knows that you love Mary and she knows that you are a good father. Baby, I don't think so. I just got my ass chewed out today by a bunch of angry single mothers. Why? Is it because I wear a goddamn tailor suit? Is it because I'm not thugged out from the hood? I had a woman today to call me a gay ass. A gay ass in the child support office. Baby, I'm just trying to get legal rights to see Mary. I'm just trying to get some type of justice. I'm a goddamn attorney and I can't even help myself. What the hell is going on? David, baby, look, I know you're upset and I know you miss Mary. I miss Mary too and I never even met her. But you still have to believe that what you did today was right and all you want is equal justice as a father. Like you said, that place is a zoo. It's not made for real men like you. It's made for deadbeat dads that look at their children like some type of financial responsibility they want to run away from. That's not you, David. You are a good man. And you want to know why that's the truth? Why is that? Because I'm always right. Yes, yes, you're always right. Baby, people break up every day. But children still need to be fed and taken care of. You know this? And I thank God that your parents raised you to be such a responsible man. <sighs> Baby, I know you're right. It's just that I'm dealing with a pain that I cannot describe. I spent so much time in her room now. <sighs> Baby, I'm missing holidays, birthdays. I know, baby. Even school programs. <sighs> Still, I thank God for you. I don't know what I would do without you. Girl, where you been all my life? Getting ready for you? Is that... <laughs> Mưa rơi xuống đất cho em dịu Mưa loang xa nước điêu trên người Mưa về cây có xinh tươi Mưa vui nâng nâng Mưa cười nhà ta Mưa nao nước bao la Mưa xuống như bờ sông uống nước mưa Mưa đêm mưa sáng mưa trưa Mưa cho tan nát cõi xưa cõi gần Mưa ướt lạnh mưa trần mai ngói Mưa rơi xuống đất cho em dịu Mưa loang xa nước điêu trên người Mưa về cây có xinh tươi mưa vui thân mừng Mưa cười nhà ta Mưa nao nước bao la Mưa xuống như bờ sông uống nước mưa 
But in By the way, I'm the senior child support officer at our downtown location. Monica, that's my name. So Monica, how many kids do you have? Just one. My son, Travis. Aw, he's a good looking young man. So Monica, where do you work? In the medical center. I'm a nurse assistant, currently on the night shift, trying to get on the day. And the hours are long and the pay is really crappy. Ugh. Hey, Monica, do you have any clerical experience by any chance? Yeah, I can type like 90 words a minute. Wow, that's pretty great. Because we actually do need a child support officer in my office. You should go online and apply. But I don't have any experience. Don't worry about all that. We'll help you pay for the training, and we'll help you get your license, too. So when's your next day off? Thursday. All right, tell you what. Why don't you swing by my office, say, round four? We can talk all about it then. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll be there. Well, great. Hello? Who is this? Hello? Is anyone there? I can't hear you. Hello? Hello? God, it's Mary, my baby girl, oh God, it's my baby girl, my baby girl, oh God, it's Mary. <laughs> Mommy, Daddy's crying.
What if I told you there's a man in the Attorney General's office right now filing child support on himself without a court order? That's a first. Good for his kids. But I'm sorry, I'm late. I've got to go. Hi there, ma'am. Excuse me. You look pretty happy. What happened in there? <sighs> well, they finally found his cheating ass. I just got 1280 a month. Michael, it's over between us. I just need you to take care of Kelly now. Bye. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. What? Are you just coming from the Attorney General's office? Because you look really mad. Bro, I'm about ready to blow up. They got me for 1280 bucks a month. No more hunting, no more season tickets. I gotta get six freaking jobs to eat. I'm pissed. Get out of my face. without a glare. Shiny balls will never actually, never, never out of style. <laughs> Summer, winter, hey, fall, any season really. Okay, shiny balls. Go ahead and get it. Shiny, shiny balls, balls okay. all the time. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. Ooh, okay, okay. Yeah. you shall go straight and you shall turn left at the light. All right. All right, all right, Captain. Eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred dollars. Yeah, you know nine hundred, sir. Nine hundred. No, it's nine hundred dollars. Jeez, I can't. Nine hundred dollars. She ain't say action here. <laughs> you uncomfortable? Jelly sandwiches. I eat oodles and noodles. Let me go handle something. 